meeting for at seven, and like we got to the meeting, and somebody was just like. I actually don't know, cause I think the TV's kind of busted. Check the. Yeah. It, it, yeah, that might help. Um, what did he enter as? Zets? What does he even enter as anymore? That's good enough. Oh, Zets, who's? Do you have the bracket? I don't have the bracket at all. So, I have an What's unreported match. Oh, why is it like that? Right now, like what right the fuck? Like, there it is. Oh, like, if you don't come up here, she's gonna mark you for a loss. Zets and 1-Up. 1-Up rocking. Oh, oh that's a sick tag. Is like the Japanese P? Yeah, I don't know, but it's, it looks tight. It kind of looks really like cool. the True Religion denim symbol. You know? The what symbol? The True Religion denim. Their logo. Like, you see on the back pockets. Okay. I can see it. It's not something I would want to associate with, but it's something that came to mind, you know what I mean? There you go. Yeah, no, I have never seen it before, so... I don't know, man. He probably just wants the cool letters. I want to use more cool letters. I never use tags. So many cool tags. Dude, I found that when I'm chain, when I'm chain grabbing, I, ha I do a lot better when I don't have a tag on, because I have, like, the vision. Sure. You know? It, like, kind of blocks a little bit. Yeah, so, like... I don't know. So we got Ganon versus Falco. Zets is... Experienced in combo Ganon. Yeah, he's doing some combos. It's a pretty tough matchup for Ganon. You really have to kill them every time you touch them for it to be close. Yeah, it's hard for Ganon in general, I feel like. I don't know, you can keep the neutral like semi-close, like even like 70-30, as long as you're getting a couple hits every time you hit him. Ganon does so much damage, you can probably keep up, but yeah. he's really only getting one piece so far. Like, edge guards and grabs need to be massive for you. Yeah. And, uh... I think just based off the gameplay we see so far, it's gonna be a hard time for one up. Sure. You need to have a really good oh. mix up, I feel like, on the way you're landing after aerials. Like between jabbing and like using a B move or like that wave land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like he did land a stomp there, you know, not 10 seconds ago, but didn't capitalize on it at all, which is. Yeah, at this percent. That'll like change, you know, for even like the top Ganon dwarfs, if they don't, if they drop one combo, that pretty much like the game a lot of the time, you know? Yeah, it's really hard to come back, especially for like slower characters once you're behind after that first stock, because the faster character can just basically outrun you the whole time. Zets is getting way too cute on the edge. Zets is getting pretty cute on the edge. I actually like that shine stall, but I feel like you should have just went for a back air. Or yeah. Back air would have killed. Grab ledge, go up, down tilt. No, but like that the would be the lamest a, thing to do. Shine stall is a good idea, especially I feel like against Ganon, because you just like get in a good spot and you can't really do much. Oh yeah, it's super good. I just, you know, there's... There we go. Yeah. What a standard. <laughs> Yeah, jab on shield gets shine out of shield. Pretty grabbable or shine out of shield able. His jab is pretty good actually. It's fast and like it'll cover you, but if you wait for the jab, you can punish a lot of the time if you have a good character. Okay. Like well, Mars grab rate to punish it. I actually almost never go for punishes on jabs. Yeah, I can see. I just usually let him jab if he wants to jab. Because I feel like it's just. You have to have a pretty good character to be able to punish it. Most of the time, I think. It just feels like a second one can come out so quick, or he can do like an up air quick enough that it wouldn't matter if I get in. I'm actually surprised that Ganon's keeping it this close. Yeah, he did get that random down B. Oh, and he got messed up at the down B startup. It's over. Yeah. I mean, it's still just a couple hits away. You just gotta get the lower percents of the hardest. Because lower percent, the combos have to be just extremely crisp. Oh, wow. I think he went for an edge cancel. Yeah, I think that was the main idea. But didn't run off the platform, actually. Yeah, that was just an odd scenario there. Oh, wow. Zess has been covering the rules in pretty well, except for that time. I like his just wait behind shield. It's pretty scary. Yeah. And he just covers the down there. Or down B. Yeah, but down B is good because it gives you the jump, but at the same time, it's very punishable by, like, any good character. Yeah, definitely. Being on stage is Ganon. Just punishable situation in general. <laughs> Just being Ganon in this game is pretty being punishable. Being Ganon in Melee, pretty punishable. Punishable by TOs and what they will report your results as. <laughs> oh, wow. Dead. That yeah. was pretty dirty. Golf clap. Yeah. Standard. Oh, yeah, thanks. I, I like, thought about I'm doing awful. it. Oh, I'm awful at Control S. I hit shift. Nice. You did it. I'm really awful at uh, <laughs> strat.
screen running tech skill. Oh, dude, I'm pretty bad at it as well, to be honest. I can just get it set up. Spacing on that get up attack by one up was unpunishable, I think. Ooh, he just walks to beat the down beat. That's one of my favorites. Good and mix up on the gets destroyed for overextending. I mean, yeah, you probably get a tech. Can you tech when you hit the ceiling? Yeah, I think you just gotta be ready, and he was okay. not one up capitalizing cues. What does the ceiling tech look like? Do they just do like a wall tech at the top? I mean, I don't know. I think it happened so fast, I've never really... I've never really like thought about it, but... Mm -hmm. It just made me really think about how a ceiling tech... Because not a lot of the sta stages you're even gonna get the opportunity to get a ceiling tech. Oh, this nice is platform cancel back air. Yeah, this, this is rough. Really good shield pressure. Eh. I would have liked to see another down air back onto the side platform into a tech chase, but Sets is looking for the Shine Firebirds. He's a big Shine Firebird guy. Oh, no, I'm saying the flat, uh, and platform cancel back with shield pressure. Oh, yeah, I, I was talking about the next situation. Ah, uh, I agree. Oh, yeah, yeah. That Afterwards, he got kind of. He just gets kind of cute once he's ahead, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. No punish. Oh, oh. Drops Grabs another the shield drop. That's pretty cool. And I don't know if he guards. meant to. He probably just wanted to grab the shield. Edge guards did not enough point for one up. He's pretty much ke only catching Zets overextending. Really. Yeah, he's uh, baited. He has at least caught him overextending. But... Oh, no, he went for the platform tech chase. But he didn't get it. <laughs> oh, and wow. a trade. Double two stop. Probably would have down here. Zet's saying, can you imagine if that was last stock? Because he knows he can't. Because that would have been an ultimate that would've never, and he might have just lost. Zet's like, no, I can't imagine if that was last stock, because uh, I, it would never happen. <laughs> it's just never too good. Happened. I'm too good. He's too, yeah, he is too good at this game to go that far with the Ganon, probably. Unless the Ganon is pretty fucking good. Yeah, no, last one I get bodied. Alright, Danimal versus R2, no, and one up against okay. both Fox. Oh, wait, this is... What's his dunk? I... Is that what his tag is? I don't I remember. I don't know what he looks like, honestly. I, he just looks like... Oh, yeah, he's put on the Jets tag. I think it is. I, yeah, I think this is a... What's his face? What's this guy's name? What do you want your tag to be? Oh, he's not listening. I think it's Dunks. Your tag is Dunks, right? Dunks? How do you spell it? Just like Dunk? Like, with a K? D U N S? X. 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 Okay. Dunk. I want it to be right for, for you, not me. I don't care. Okay. Um, Millhouse, top three player in Ohio versus Dunks. Pretty much guaranteed top three player in Ohio at this point. Yeah, guaranteed. No one is. We got, we got Falcon versus Sheik, most likely. You know how this is really good at tech chasing? Yeah, he is pretty good at but, tech chasing. Uh, one thing he tells me. I would like to see his mark in this matchup. I feel like it's probably pretty good, but he probably yeah. just wants. He probably prefers the Sheik. Yeah, I think he just doesn't want to get exploded by uh, those combos nice, from Yoshi. Falcon. No house Yoshi. But what, what one thing Milhouse does not like in this matchup is when Falcons can SDI the jab because he doesn't really have a huge answer for it from what he says to me. That's actually yeah, that's a good mix up there. But he definitely doesn't go for like perfect tech chasing a lot of the time. You know, he'll just set up for stage position if he can. Oh, nice re-grab. Juicy combo. And he almost catches Milhouse's jump. Oh, Milhouse is jumping a little bit too much for my taste. Uh, that's kind of chic, but he calls the side stall there. And I think Sheik wants to be very grounded in this matchup because if you go up in the air, then all of Falcon's like upward moving hitboxes like destroy yours. Sure. Nice tech chase to finish that stock. Oh, oh wow. Does, does that was a down smash. Late. He's been watching too many Dreffen videos. And like right there, he went for the jab when uh, pretty high percent. But he jab, it up jab anyway. is good at a high percent though. I guess that's it connects true. to fair. Yeah. If they if they DI up on the jab, they just get fair. It's like pretty good. And it's like pretty low committal the jab at high percent. I like the double jab. He's respecting the fact that he's not just getting the jab reset. Big time crouch can't see lay. But not really going hard on the edge guards. He's playing it way too safe for my liking. He's playing pretty safe here. Oh, doesn't get any follow up on the side beat. Just take chase. And got a 
my match did get called. I guess I should play, but I do want to commentate this. I mean, yeah, it's, it's winter, so it's probably not a big deal. Them there's no setups. I'll wait till they call me again. And I think he's dead. Down B. Oh, down B gets stuffed. But he still got his jump back because it was like late in the down B. Damn, it was late enough. That's actually pretty solid. Pretty shitty right there. Because then you just get the jump still. I feel like Milhouse isn't as comfortable in this matchup as most Sheiks would want to be. Uh, just I mean, like this watching it. actually pretty hard if Falcon sees it. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think he's over committing in spots where he, he gives Falcon a few freebies. Yeah, I love that fair. You connect to the grab or like a jab or tech chase there. But Dunks, on the other hand, has had good combo mitigation, I feel like. Like, his DI there was good to get to the ledge, but then he comes off the ledge poorly and eats what could have been a death combo. Yeah, I don't feel like he's really using the drift and the recovery a ton. I feel like Milhouse is just kind of screwing up how to edge guard him. Yeah, he's not going hard on the edge guards. Yeah. Like, he's playing it way too safe. Did that again, that falling, jet, or falling fair is super good. Oh, nice job holding down on the oh, stomp. Wow. But he still connects a double I up think there. I got the shield poke there. He just barely makes it after that air dodge. That air was so dumb. I actually like the idea because he was calling Falcon doing a later aerial on top of him. Oh, oh and he's the, dead. Yeah, that's just unfortunate. But yeah, you can't go that hard on your last stock. Uh, that's the Falcon classic, though. So I feel like uh, if Dunks tightens up his defense a little bit, He'll be well served. Yeah, and if Millhouse tightens up his uh, edge guards, he will also be well served. I have to see where they're going for in this game. Up smash, anti air. Up smash is pretty good to catch a lot of stuff. Yeah, definitely the. Oh, he reads. He doesn't read, but he waits, I guess. Ooh, nice hatch hatch there. Connecting it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah. a nice combo. He got the roll after the stop on shield. I gotta go play. Right, good luck. Fuck him up. Yeah, I'll destroy him. <laughs> destroy him. Yeah, he's giving you that look. What's up, dude? Not too much. He just left all his drinks here. Billy fucking up some scrubs. Uh, Billy is, uh... You took game one, didn't you? He took game one. I didn't update anything. I'm lazy. But Dunk's looking pretty good on Stadium here. After I say that, he has Ds, so you know. It's just, just great commentary here. It's all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that was a great slash in there to uh, Yeah, dude. Fucking Falcon's combos always look so cool, but it feels so slow when I try to do them. Try to pull a hanky panky and slash Drevin and just down smash. <laughs> just down smash in the pit? Yeah, dude, bad spot, just down smash. Yeah, just that side beat, that was pretty dope. Look at this combo. Oh, yeah. He doesn't finish it, but gets 100%. Oh, I like his uses of up air in this. Uh, yeah, set. yeah, it's pretty sick. I mean, you can just juggle Falcon because he's a fast player, man. Oh, yeah, dude. No matter how heavy he is, like, you can just, you can up air him like five times in a row. If you get even with she. No, if, if up air or down air connects, you just get such a good combo off it. It's so nice. It's just a little hard to hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah his recovery sucks, so you can't give it any respect, honestly. You just have to, like... He's actually giving it way too much respect. That's at least I, yeah, I, I agree. I saw in game one where he, like, he got off a ledge, and, like, you can wait. Like, he was so high up that he could have waited to see where he was going to fade to and then got off the ledge, yeah. but he didn't. And I don't think... The Falcon wasn't even using much fade in that situation, either. Well, he just, like, he just did the full up B and then went to ledge. Yeah. And, like, he could have just ledge and he would have died. I don't know. It's just, like... He used to be a Falcon for way too much respect. It sucks. Probably not. Just steal out the last stock. Yeah. I was not paying attention to it. But now we're going to game three, so this is tight. It was just an up air knee. Up air knee. Classic. Classic Falcon. Awesome. I know nothing about Falcon's combos, but they all just look like him. <laughs> <laughs> it's just any, you just pick a number, dude. That's what I've been told from the meme god led on this. The one, the only. The one, the only Sheik main that just complains about Falcon's aerials. The only one who complains about Falcon. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty oh, hilarious, actually. That down tilt spacing was immaculate. Down tilt is a great move on shield. Sheik especially, because like, if you just get that last hit or like the last hitbox, it's just so safe. He down beats I think he wanted to jump there to see if he can get back because of the low stage. It's hard on story though because you don't get much of a ground under the uh, so jump gets caught by the side even luckily he uh, gets out of that combo. Ooh, I like the jab, but he doesn't actually get the grab after. A little preemptive on the fair. 
I feel like that wouldn't have really covered. He did it again. I feel like that doesn't cover much. It covers like one option. Yeah. You could just wait. And if you could just like down here there, or like do something like longer for a mix up. But he's doing the fair every time he's on fire. He held in there. Yeah. Don't hold in on that open. He's <laughs> not holding on that open. He's afraid to go off stage with this. He's not scared, I don't think. Uh, I mean, it is working out for him, but I feel like if he if he had a little more confidence off the edge of the off the ledge, he'd be able to get a lot more of Falcon's recovery. Yeah. Okay. Good combo so far. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Slick dash dance. That was some slick wow. long dash. This chain grab is just going on. He has second oh, place like three times. He second place a lot. That's a classic, uh, <laughs> the classic fastballer main. I'm just gonna keep. Place, I, I want to keep fighting. I just want to keep fighting. So I'm just gonna keep. He doesn't even place. have like second place shine though. No, he's he just taking the place and he's like committed. It's, Come on, dude. It's hit not me. even good, dude. This <laughs> it's is not, not that good. This is not ST remix. <laughs> dude, Thompson's <laughs> rolls are so much better. They actually they're pretty good. Unless Johnny, dude. Johnny's the king of rolling. Look at these these jabbers. Oh, he smashed GI that one up though, and he was able to get out. Oh yeah, he's he definitely has the smash GI sometimes, but it's hard when you. At the very beginning. Oh, oh the SD. That's the way to end this set. I feel like you actually get a little more Let's see what F-Sash is on the stage. I, I don't know if that's for everyone, no. but for Yoshi definitely does. Uh, I think that is for everyone. Because the way that the edge is like, slanted, you can just like go basically straight down and you still just get it. So oh, nice. I think it's a lot easier to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I like... I like in general, I feel like if you hit the right angle on that slant, you go just so much further. Like you can almost get in the middle of the stage with like everyone's wavelength. If you hit like a solid uh, Pretty crazy, man. horizontal wavelength. I have not noticed that myself. Standing Glacier Let's go. versus the one, the only rendition. <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's go. I'll just yell wobble every time. Play Fox! We need music. We need wobble music. Every time he gets wobbled, just hit a soundboard. Are you playing? <laughs> Are you telling Fizzle to play Fox? Yeah. He was thinking about it, but I think he's just gonna play Fox. <laughs> Is it like Puff? That's so lame. Where did the secondaries go? Do you have all these secondaries? Standing um, Oh, you got a little dash in there. Uh, it's supposed to be a shift. Of your keyboard text <laughs> Yeah, dude. It's hard. I'm, you're not getting a space. Oh, no. It's gonna ice it to him? Oh, that's even cooler, actually. That is, this is gonna be dope. Uh, where's Papa when you need him? Yeah, Papa. Dad? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think he has to play. They're playing in losers. I probably shouldn't bother him. Is he even playing ICs? No, he's playing Samus. Last time I saw He's playing him. Samus? Yeah. Yo, Dump let's truck, go, I Papa! Dump Truck? I don't know. I thought Dump Truck was his Falcon. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe. Actually, that might be, might be his Samus. Wait, there's a lot of weird names. Oh, no, he's playing Luigi. Now he's playing Luigi. Probably gave up on the Samus. Samus is zero fun. She's zero fun. You have to play defense the entire game. Samus? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's all... Yeah, it's very different. You literally Crouch play projectile aggression back. or... The defense. That's literally it. I was gonna play but Samus. The game is sick. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's interesting. I agree. I think it's. I think it's fun to extend combos with her, but at the same time, it's a little challenging, and it feels like it, is it, it, it almost feels like she shouldn't extend a lot of the combos. And it's like this is weird. It feels like you're supposed to win neutral a thousand times. Okay, let's go though. Uh, green is standing glacier. Blue is fizzle. Yeah, absolutely. Blue, blue, pink. Fizzle's yeah neutral. Green, yellow is the. Green is the main, yeah, blue is the main. I, I don't know much about the matchup. So this is basically you're playing doubles, right? And you're trying to separate the climbers. Yeah, and so what you're trying to do is... Same yeah, you basically want to get this run up and grab is great on shield. Uh, yeah, feel free to take this. Oh, here we go. The, the, we're missing the wobble. We're getting a Sopa wobble. The Nino is still alive. He was wobbling Cobra. Oh, he tries to get it. Oh, wait. Glacier takes the first stock. No, actually, I think. I think they're flipped. Because what is it? Alright, man, good luck. Yeah, they are flipped. Oh, hey, Bobaloo. What's up, BY? The newly PR'd, uh... The newly PR'd BY-15? <laughs> you 
can't use your tag anymore? I know, I'm kind of pissed. <laughs> if it was higher than 10, I wouldn't be pissed, but like, to give up Noper for number 10 spot on PR... You gotta, you gotta just keep, go gotta keep going. You gotta keep winning. That's that's the solution. Sending Glazer's winning. No, 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 this is a lie. It's all flipped. Because oh, okay. I, I, they were initially, they're on that side, so that's what I initially did. But I was watching the wobble, and I'm pretty sure Sandy Glacier was going to get it. So Fizzle's wearing the B tag? Yeah, I think wearing the B tag. Fizzle's, what is he? He's the crew. He has Nana Blue. Dude, he has Nana Hot Blizzard. I don't I can almost do that. I can do it sometimes, but it's really hard. I usually see jumps and blizzards and just like lands right next to me, you know? I don't get the actual, like, where you break that, like, magnetic tie between them and she, like, shoots forward. Yeah. The real kind of fly. Yeah, yeah, I usually yeah. don't get that one. He, he wasn't getting a lot of uh, horizontal momentum on it, but he was getting, like, the actual jump and stuff. It's pretty tough. Well, the name is dead already. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no yeah and he's dead. Yeah, okay, Glacier's definitely blue. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was, watching his, I was watching his hands. That's, that's what I was trying to watch. So when, you, when one of them is doing wobble, one person is dashing One has to be yeah. So that, that person's not the poor person wobbling. Yeah, that's crazy. And I know Fizzle likes uh, Icy Dittos. I mean, the Dittos is kind of just like playing doubles. Both, both. <laughs> no, but you're, like, you're both people. No, you're both, you're, you're playing basically with a computer <laughs> each, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like 1v1 with a computer on your team that just follows you around and does what you do. My favorite Icy's doubles, like, thing that happens is the double grab. Double grab is when sick. When Poe grabs Poe and Nana grabs Nana, I think that's like the coolest no, no, thing the, in the world. The sickest thing is when you just get one of them, and then you start wobbling, oh, and, and the other person's running getting into tilted. It. So like, Nana, the Nana just keeps getting tilted Nana by the other Nana. Yeah, 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 and I've then you're just wobbling that. the shit out of Popo. It's so free. Or if like you, uh, if, you do, if you're in the desync, right, so it's like, uh, pound wa- or pound tilt, pound tilt, pound tilt. Yeah. So you pound and then when tilt's supposed to come, you just like smash attack me instead. Oh, and So like, Anna. fuck yeah. her, and like, you're still having to- Was it like she has like a decent amount? Yeah, that's yeah. sick, dude. There's so many cool mixups in this matchup. Yeah, oh. I know you fizzle when, uh, Ice is against, uh, Void, and he usually goes against, uh, Dreff and his Ices. Those are pretty much the only two people I know, like- Yeah, I think he likes doing it against the Wobble Monsters because it really invalidates the Wobble. Like, to a certain extent. Because, like, one of them is grab- like, if you are trading grabs or, like, throwing in a hitbox, like, you're probably not getting wobble. And you also have a Nana basically yeah. stop- that should stop the wobbling unless you have but that the situation. Time, I was gonna say, yeah, when you get into the situation where Popo's getting, uh, wobble and Nana comes in, she usually is pretty shitty at getting back. Did I grab a, did you grab him out of side B? You grab him out of side B. That's what, I think Nana has armor. Uh, so when she's doing stuff at low percents, like if you put in a command and you hit Popo, like Nana's goes through like half of the time. Well, I know she has uh, she has five reduced knockback. Okay. Base. So that means. Uh, Holy crap. Which is really interesting. Luigi's up B because it does no knockback. For her, it doesn't even like give the stun animation. So if she's holding ledge and Luigi up B's on her, she won't move. She like doesn't like feel it. Wow. Because she has a base reduction of five knockback points or whatever. That's nice. And Luigi's thing probably does like one or two or whatever. Yeah. Like, it doesn't move you. So yeah, she just like doesn't feel it, which is yeah insane. It's crazy. Actually. I, I watched. Uh, I've seen Durf's like comment posts, and Durf is a genius. Yeah. And whenever he comments, he comments like a novel. Dude, a lot of the ice so much are info. just like. Fucking yeah, they're all pretty big, like, lab rats, and, like, they just know they just everything that's going on. Crazy. Yeah. They just, like, watch the character. It's like a low-tier main, except they're all just, like, they have a wobble, and they all just, like, watch each other's, like, stuff. Yeah. It's garbage. It's like a low-tier main with a wobble. No, they all get to be low-tier mains, except there's, like, a thousand of them, and they all can wobble. <laughs> it's like, god damn it. No, this game two. Fizzle took game one. Yeah. I just switch names. Those Ices are actually pretty sick. Alright, so now it's gonna be me and Hanky. Peace. Good luck, man. Hi, Danny. Hey. Hey, uh, what kind of beer do you want? Uh, I usually drink Yingling. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I got that. Thank you, though. Come on.
Thanks, Big Spanker Tan. Thanks, Big Spanky Panky. Oh, Vin's here. What's up, Vin? Is Vin winning? What is happening with this parade? There's a lot of good people. Oh, interesting. Never mind. Alright, um, are they just hand warming? <laughs> wow. Is that yours or mine? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's probably yours. <laughs> it's fine. It's yeah. So I decided not to enter today. Decided to deprive Rubsay of the sickest Yoshi in Ohio. The only Yoshi in Central Ohio? Yeah, I did. Because I can't be guilty into entering everything because I'm the only Yoshi in Central Ohio. You hear that uh, Santiago is going all Falco except Yoshi for Ices? That's a pretty good. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. I think Yoshi's a cool character to cover like one or two matchups like that. He's a little Fumi. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I hate him. Do you really? I hate you him, hate him because bit. he defected from Yoshi? A little bit. That's fair. He just like hard defect. No, it's not the people that like defect because I like. I don't know. It's a it's a weird mix. It's people that like very hard right off the character. When are you leaving? Um. Yeah, I can do that because uh, I'm waiting until this set. So if we start seeing, we can probably do that. Bye, Danny. Bye. Good luck. Oh, let's go, B.Y. Oh! Talk to him! Tell him what day of the week it is. This is 30 seconds in. There's two, only two Peach Stocks. What the fuck is happening? This character sucks. Oh, no jump. Yeah. Took a minute on the first sock, though. It's a little hard here. I feel like if he just really waits here and is still patient with the spacing. Nice shield, but he's just getting too scared. He's got a swing still. It's so scary. Oh wow, that was amazing. That was so cool. Drop. Oh my god. Oh, I love that near dash attack. It's really strong. Near jab jab with a mix up. Using a lot of these nears approaching. Maybe he mixed it up with fair, that's why you see it so much change. Ooh. Shield covers the dare. Oh man, down I think. Unless he thought he was gonna go up early. <laughs> that ear dodge was crispy. Then he didn't drop us. This guy's crazy. Beats the or goes under the platform. Big dash attack though, that's not what you want. I feel like he could have gone first round there than he said. He really likes these dancing blades though.
back. So you can smash that out of the way, he lives. Nice drop there, but doesn't really catch much. I think he's just gonna play this game. He just plays the game of air dodge for a You gotta be be patient. Here we go. Let's go, Hanky. Dude, those two, the first two socks were crazy. It was crazy. Money match. He should fucking know better. He's in a money match. He said Mitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna have a problem. <laughs> He's trying to find a person here. <laughs> I mean, many people have been leaving me, yes. They have to play. He was playing. Uh, yeah, they're playing right now. Yeah. That's not standing glacier, that's eggnog. Wait, no, 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 it shouldn't be, it should be eggnog. Yeah, that's eggnog. Did you find Mitch? How you doing? The sunniest of vloggers. We got a beautiful matchup. A matchup I love to watch. Hate to play it. You hate to play it? Right now. I just, I, I hate Falco, dude. Falco, like, sometimes it's fun. Other times, I just fucked it up. Other times, I can't fuck with Falco, dude. Yeah, dude, I feel it. Falco's pretty annoying. I don't know what Mitchell entered as. I think that's how you spell Mitchell. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call. Probably usually not much, but... It's pretty simple to use. It's nice. It's starting on Dreamland, this stage is definitely gonna favor. It's gonna favor Falco a little bit, but really barely. Okay, I feel like this is pretty even. 
it's like it's literally like two actually, to three percent difference. It seems like it seems like in my opinion you have Chaco Chaco wins the matchup on the ground 55-45 this on this stage, but like when you change the platform, Chaco is kind of winning. Like, well, the, nice the same amount. Falco generally likes having more space because it gives him like more opportunities to like have that like set distance, like that set like laser distance. Yeah. Whereas on smaller stages, it's easier for Fox to get inside that space. And once he's inside that space, Falco's usually fucked. And as long as Fox is outside that space, Fox is fucked. <laughs> yeah, that's why it feels like a lot of time on like the actual ground of this stage, you you got a lot of room to work yeah. with, and they're really far apart. But once you get to a platform, like they're close. That's because there's not much actual platform room once you're on the platforms. So if Fox can get Falco comboed onto a platform, it feels like he can really follow up with like yeah. tech chases and stuff and start winning the match. Yeah, I mean, as far as combo games goes, I feel like both of them can potentially really fuck each other up. Dude, these if characters fuck each other up on every stage. Yeah, exactly. You don't need anything. Exactly. You can, you can fuck each other up on FD and like zero to death each other nonstop. That's kind of the beauty of the matchup is every mistake should be punished by a zero to death. Pretty close, yeah. I mean, until Smash DA gets into it, which I don't think a lot of people consider, but like even then, people don't actually have that kind of defense. At least not usually. So, that's just an auto cancel bagger in neutral lines and coming out of shield with that sweet man. It's pretty good. It's pretty good stock lead here. Oh, he tries to laser, but he just calls him with air. Okay, keeps the combo going. And Zeth mixes up a laser with an air. Sorry, combo. Still has him in the corner. Has him off stage. Oh, he reads the angle. Yeah, great read on that angle there. Oh, no. An angle laser should be a shine. Oh, he texts it. Oh, peace. <laughs> that was almost sick, because if he hit the up B, then he would have got back. That was really sick. Oh, man. Good shine and shield. Oh. Oh, I feel like if he just... Wait, I feel like he needed the dash a little sooner, he could have just uh, punched a little over the shine. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. So, all the way to the right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you got the same pizza? Ah, uh, what pizza did you get? No, you got no, you get the same pizza every week. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I was curious why she was coming up to you like tomatoes. It's where they have sauce now, it's <laughs> Ooh, that was a good catch with the upper or up tilt there. Oh, that board smash was over eager. Yeah, I don't even think it would have covered the angle. You know, yeah, yeah, at the right time. The angle. Oh wow, calls to close with an air? Does an air even beat up beat? Potentially, but you have to space it really well. Okay, because... Like, literally, per you have to, to space it like right Wow, it's great like, shine stall. Look at my weapon. Yeah, I, I think that shine stall is really cool. Actually, I think shine stall in general is pretty unnoticed. Yeah. <laughs> Especially uh, in this matchup. Well, in this matchup, I think it's Actually, being used more and more. But... I think it's floaty as people need to start using it. I think it's sick, but I can also see it. It's uses in these matchups. Fast forward. This is a very interesting oh, matchup. No. Oh. The homie stocks. These are these are friends playing now. This is Room's Day. This is Room's Day. This is just homie stocks forever. Except the shine grab starts to opening. Good. They'll still punch this shit out of But it's caught. Oh, it's caught in the uptown. This is where Fox really shines. Once he pops Falco up, has him in the air, oh, nice he can really put him up a lot of percent. And the edge guarding has to be, you know, oh, textbook. Yeah. It's textbook. It's so easy. Falco sucks at recovering. Uh, I feel like Falco has a lot of six makeup mix-ups, especially at the stage with the uh, wall jumps and wall uh, But Fox is just so good at covering. But Fox should be able to cover most of it. You can cover, you can cover like 90% of the things that he can do on reaction. Um, oh, good jab reset. Maybe in an anticipated reaction, but I think some of the things are a little hard. Well, it's like a, it's a simple flow chart where, like, if they're above the stage, they have like the potential side view, so you're ready to throw out the back air or the up tilt, depending on how far away they are from you. And then, like, once they go below the stage, it's literally just a simple shine spike or back air, and you can just hold ledge. So it's, it's like, I don't know, there's like a flow chart for it. And, uh, oh, I mean, there's like a few mix ups, like, if you wait to get close yeah. to the stage, or like, if you wait to. Yeah, there absolutely are mix ups. But. You know, the Fox, I feel like the Fox just has more than enough time for, like, the speed to be able to do it. I just, I feel like people undervalue Falco's recovery a little bit. Just like coming from a character that literally only has a double jump and air dodge, Falco has a lot of mix ups. Yeah. He has a lot of mix ups everywhere. Like, with I guess from, from that perspective, but relative with to the Fox. Short, no, relative to every character, I think. Like, I don't even think Fox has as many as people give him credit for. Like, Fox is pretty easy to edge guard, in my opinion. Especially if you're claiming that Falco is your edge guard. Fox only has like two more options beyond that because this is always a little longer. His side B is actually way less scary. Like, fucking up against Falco's side B, you're probably dead. Fucking up against Fox's side B, you just walk away. 
Oh, nice edge cancel this side, man. Cops oh, That's about the only time you can follow up on the Fox's side. Really Ready? Go! Oh, nice fucking uh, Thunder's combo there. Oh, the fresh. Oh, wow. Shine Dex forward smash. Oh, that dash attack was amazing. I like the idea, yeah. I think he could have covered it better with like a, a down smash, though. Because the Falco is jumping. So if you cover it with something that doesn't pop him up, but sends him out, he dies immediately. Tries to beat the shield grab there with that down air. It's just falling for it. <laughs> yeah, it's a classic Zets thing. It's the classic Zets. It's not even the mango. It's the Zets. Up smash. I want to see him continue this tech chase up till. Oh. I like the weight there on that back air. He's just getting the biggest shit he can off it. Ooh. Up smash, but no follow up. It's hard to follow up on smash at mid percents. You kind of just get position more than you actually get Yeah, he just gets a shark. Like, he, he, he didn't move. Yeah, like I said, his problem. He kind of just jumped up there. He needs to just shark him and catch his landing. Like, you can beat out most of what Falco can do by landing with like a shine or a grab. Sure. Or a smash. Or a shine. I think the shine and grab make a little more sense and probably shield than up smash for me. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. But yeah, I'll, 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 I'll bait. Oh, good spot touch. He sniffs out the fact that the only time he's approaching by the ground like that is through a grab, so he's not gonna just take it. Oh. Good coverage of the uh, the little lip there with the dub tilts. Yeah. yeah, it's a really weird thing to do with. Uh, I think it really you just have to hold the space behind it, like he's, he was doing there. Because, like, worst case, they're just gonna walk in and either hit it when they're walking or roll into it. You can kind of just, like, be ready to cover with an up tilt. Uh, a little too much movement in there. You can cover the tech the corner. Zets, Zets is the one pressuring out of the corner, though. Yeah, he would laser his way out. Because Falco. Yes. Because Falco. Oh, no. I feel like something you don't really see as much from Fox is, like, the stuff other characters deal with do to deal with Fox, or Falco. Like, you can, like, just hold platform and, like, hold position on him. Like, if you're holding, like, up on this platform, you can't really short hop laser him. Because you're just kind of out of range. But you can also, like, hold your back air spacing behind him, and you don't have to deal with having to shoot the whole time. Like that and crouching is a hard mix up. Makes, it, him with an makes it a lot harder to laser for Falco. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like a lot of foxes try to beat him on the ground because Fox is such uh, like he's such classically a good ground character. He beats every other character on the ground. Yeah, except Falco. Yeah. yeah. I think Falco is the one that you need to start beating him in the game. Absolutely. He is no good way to cover your full hop height. Because his short hop is way below it and his full hop is way above it. Oh he needs to just go out there and shine that. Yeah. He's gotta be ready for that. Uh, that, that. Honestly, that's the difference between winning and losing on this matchup, is being able to catch guard. Uh, I think it definitely helps, especially for the Fox. But I think Falco has a lot of cool edge guards on this. No, absolutely. But I feel like, generally speaking, Falco wins on the stage, whereas Fox, like, wins edge guard wise. And, like, he really has to get those edge guards. And if he doesn't, like, get those edge guards every time, Every time Falco gets back to the stage, that's another chance for him to shine you and get that six, that sweet 60% that he gets off of every fucking shot. Yeah. I think if you, uh... If you have good... I feel like uh, Foxes don't have a great defense, at least in general, from no. what I've seen, don't have a great defense no, against not, Falco. because they don't, like... Foxes you don't, don't have focus. To. Yeah, they don't focus on defense because, like, all their focus goes into punish game and execution. Yeah. Because they know if they execute and, like, punish perfectly, they don't need defense. And it's definitely not the right thing to do, but it is the mentality of 90% of Foxes. <laughs> and Spaces in general. Sure. That is just the mentality of Spaces. That's one of my favorite things about watching good Foxes, and especially, like, like, Cal kind of does this well, but, like, I think a lot of, like, the higher-level Foxes, like, Drug Fox, or, like... Yeah. They play um, a lot safer. Like, Cobalt Fox. Yeah. They play a lot more on the defense. Yeah. Like, That's you have like all these defense dash options. Dance you have, like, a great shield. You have a great yeah. dash dance. You have yeah. a great wave dash back. You have, like, a lot of these good defensive fundamentals that other characters have to use, in, in like, especially against Spaces. You can really get away with using them. Rough Foxes get away without using them. And like you can just get away with it against a lot of lower players because you don't need it. But I feel like having those mix-ups in neutral really makes you a much more unpredictable Fox. Absolutely. Alright, I'll be right back. I gotta beat. Alright, man.
Oh. What the? What is? What is your? What is your? Oh god, I don't remember his tag. Oh shit! It's R and R. Trying to combat the downers uh, with Sheik Up Air. It's like pretty much the exact opposite angle, so I think it's a really good idea. But a lot of times the priority, you're still gonna lose the match. You're still gonna get a combo from the downer. Oh, get the, the fair off Randall. That was pretty sick. Oh, he tries to beat the jump with the nair, or jump fair, but he gets nared by the foul. Yeah, I still does not be uh, early near there. Two, 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 Space out with the back here. Not gonna die off Neft till. Uh, actually, mix up with the FB, but ends up just falling behind him. So that's a free back here. Down smash just cover landing with nothing. Ooh, nice edge cancel on the side B, but unfortunately, just gets cross canceled. Ooh, tries to call the middle to low angle, but ends up going high. to be grab there. Just don't see it much. This is upgrading for the tech in. I like the idea, but I feel like down there you would have gotten more off of it. The up is a little too strong for this percent. So he's going a little too high there. So then you connect is another up air, and that's just trying to shark the tiger. The top can just kind of come back. Oh, she has really mixed up the uppy there. You know, four of them, you probably extend the a little bit, or at least the timing wouldn't be used to it. Oh, pulling a beam sword is sick. Taco stuff, even 60% here. Taco lost to game one. Oh, shit. Two. 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 Sit on the platform, but Falcon has enough time to just beat it. And down smash there. I think you really have to get the shield DI in to really get anything off it. Nice, right, gets a grab. Let's see how much percent he can get off this. Some two grabs, some tech chase with the dash attack, but he grab cancels down so he doesn't get anything to pop up off it. Ooh, up air to dash attack. That's actually sick. Two, 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 two,
double poof doesn't get it. Aw, oh, that smash buddy doesn't get far enough to cover that. Shield the eye up. I feel like Dantel would have just poked him. Well, I don't know. Good cause to get the out smash. Ooh, real right failure. Close to the high up beat. And not close enough to ledge to grab it. Whoa. That laser was still in the air. Er, the needle was still in the air, it looked like. Yeah, I should have to grab. I feel like that shouldn't really be a thing. You looking for Nevin? Where'd he go? I saw him. Insanity's actually here. Oh shit, I thought it was a meme. Nah, dude, I'm actually pretty hype he came for like a Tuesday weekly. You what? He came for a Tuesday weekly, that's pretty I crazy. I know, that's pretty good. That's pretty crazy. Well, to be fair, like, look at this venue, like... No, the venue's sick. The, we're in a dope-ass venue. No, this is like the sickest I will shamelessly week. plug in like, and get really close to the mic. Ever, ever. This is actually the sickest. And I run a weekly. <laughs> <laughs> it was 32 even, and we brought people from like... Out of our little region of Columbus. I don't think we've been under 30 yet, which is pretty great. Yeah, this is sick. And it's just like a great venue. Yeah. Uh, Vin, I don't know. Vinsanity. Sorry, I'm bad at spelling. Go ahead. No, that's right. That's right. You're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, I don't want to put that there. I'll put this like. We can move this if you want to put it on here. Oh, okay. This is Nevin's. I don't know where you're Oh, that's, that's right, yeah. Put it on that table there. Okay, well, I've got the mic here. Um, I want to do a little call to action. Um, we've been meeting some people, some setups, some just people, smashers, people who are passionate. And I mean passion. Like H-Box pop off, hit the TV. brought to this scene. Not just to the scene, to the state. And you can show that by coming here on Tuesdays, every week, around 7.15, just to throw out a random time. And joining me now is our very own Peekaboo. Peekaboo? That's me. Hey, Alex. Hey. I don't know what I'm doing over here, but uh, you, don't worry about I saw it. you were lonely, so Aww. and Fizzle's playing, so like it's gonna be good, maybe. And we got this uh, out of towner. Uh, this is Insanity. He is. He's from Dayton, right? He's no, OU. OU. Oh, you. Oh, you. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, him and uh, Eggnog came from that. Mm. Eggnog usually like runs mouse. Um, I lost to him in losers. That was unfortunate. That was more like we actually played pretty well the first two games. Like we went down to the last stock both games, and then game three, so it was I like just one missed of those everything. Close, like point five, like I oh yeah. Two. I mean, I took a game, so like that, that kind of works, I, I mean, guess. Yeah. It's the same rhetoric. You didn't get like your ass handed to you completely. Exactly. Well, it kind of did game three. He three stocked me because I like. Game three. I'm talking still about like game one and two. Okay. Yeah. You're okay. already like five steps ahead. I, I got you. I got you. Is um, Fizzle actually playing like real characters today, or is he no, like, absolutely <laughs> not. Is he still doing his Falco, whatever? Uh, no, actually, I think he's trying Ices right now. Is I, th I think he wants to learn the Ices matchup, just I mean, like, or I guess the, the are character. Silly. They are silly, but they're not um, the silliest. Honestly, like, 
Icy's are probably the most fizzle character that has ever existed. Ready? I want to get in. You want to no, get in? You can be That's in. That's fine. Fine. Yeah. Here, I'll get in. Um, okay. Oh, okay. All right, fine. We know he's um, gonna put up center stage, but that's uh, yeah. Fizzle going Icy's. Um, what else is new? Uh, it could be he's going Falco. So I mean. Um, oh damn! How does this matchup like stack? I think it's pretty good for. Oh, okay. Like I think it's pretty good for Icy. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> Old they, school knowledge would tell you that Falcon destroys Ices, but, uh... But... <laughs> Papa told me one time that I think that, uh, you have, like, a reaction tech trace on Falcon. Oh, even really? with Sopo. So you can really? do that low percents, um, almost like the re-grab on Sheik until they're a high number percent for Wobble Fusion. Huh. Don't know if that's true, but that's what I heard. Interesting. I feel like Falcon's matchup with everyone is 50-50. Yeah, he like, either messes you up or he gets messed up. There's no in between. Yeah, it's definitely like I was talking to Brand or uh, um, homie Waffles about this today because he like doesn't have that many views. By the way, everybody goes sub to uh, the young Waffle. Uh, <laughs> the homie. <laughs> the homie. Been He's actually too. super nice. Um, met him at SmashCon. He's very nice. Um, I was talking to him about that today, about, like, Falcon Ice season up. It's just, he's he's definitely the character that, like, you can you can lose to. Yeah. With any character. He's just, you can just lose to him. Um, totally just a wild card in every sense. Yeah, like, you'll force talk a Falcon game one, and then all of a sudden you turn your brain off in game three is last talk. Mm-hmm. Maybe not even. It could be, like, he just two stocks you, and you're like, oh, shit, I'm holding a controller. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if he meant that down smash. Well, he meant some intent behind it. He had some murder there, but, like, he... It wasn't a good idea. And he's getting a lot of full hop up airs, where it looks like he's trying to get immediate rising uh, short hop up air. Interesting. Ooh, what call-out, actually? That was good from Fizzle. He yeah. just called out that Ben was going to be really aggressive with his drift and try to take way too much stage. That should have been a reverse up air IMO. This is fine, yeah. but uh, he had a guaranteed edge guard. That was yeah. kind of contingent on Fizzle yeah. doing the whole thing. Just wanted some percent. That's fine. I had to let him know one time. Ooh, that's not safe. Mm -hmm. so that could have been a jab reset. That yeah. was... How that, did he have time to do that? I do, who knows? Well, that's game one. Um, provided that he doesn't mess this up. I think yeah. he might have, oh, he might have done it differently. Uh, for, <laughs> it like, kind of depends on what... Like, It's mine, yeah. Oh, okay. It's now. Okay. Oh, damn. I was trying... <laughs> Not now, bitch. <laughs> so, Icy should probably ban Yoshi's so that they I'm don't die out. to me at, like, 40. <laughs> and then if they ban Yoshi's, do you just go back to Battlefield, or do you go to Pokemon? Just um, FOD every time, honestly. Dude, low-key, I well, feel like Fast Fallers, like, don't have very many good stages. Like, um, people say get rid of Pokemon. Like, dude, if you get rid of Pokemon, like, Falco uh, sucks. Yeah, I, I'd say... Because then, then he has to deal with, with FD, and he gets chain-grabbed by, like, every character. He has to deal with Dreamland, and he, he can't kill. He can still get chain-grabbed on cover, which is still annoying. Yeah, but at least... I, I at, like least you have, at least you have platforms, though, to escape. You and have some platforms, percent. and you have more kill potential than FD. Mm -hmm. And um, platforms help your combo game, too, with pillars. That's true. Like, on FD, like, you can't pillar Peach without platforms. So, like, oh, that's her, your combo game gets worse, and hers gets better. Whoa, that was a weird mash. And into a side B. Um, this is actually probably Falcon's best stage, honestly. Uh, I think it keeps... That was a really nice back air. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was, that was nice. so she efficient. Dead? Yeah, she's, she's dead. dead. She jumped. That's it. Um, I think Fizzle could have saved her, but I'm not 100% sure on, like, the... Woo! If Nana jumps, to, is she... Can she be saved with an up B kind of... I'm surprised they got that. I guess Fizzle needs yeah. a D out, or D I out a lot harder. Yeah, I guess so. Sometimes dash back for... For wow. Falcon is just nuts. What a match! Power shield grab that there in the corner. That's that that's awesome. so hard. <laughs> I think fair actually. That was a really smart option. To put him off stage, but he one couldn't. Thing, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying one thing I'm noticing is uh, Vin needs to he needs to do better when he has him separate. He gets like too television and trying to kill Nana, and then all of a sudden uh, Fizzle's right there with the counter attack. So he's got to focus yeah. more on pretending he's going for Nana and then punishing Fizzle for trying to punish going for Nana. Oh my God, that was wow! That was a nipple. That was a nipple. Straight from Athens, Ohio. He drove like two hours to deliver that nipple. <laughs> yeah, see, there again, he like weak hits Nana with a knee and then runs away a little too late and still gets hit by uh, Sopo. That's the main thing I'm seeing here. 
He's, uh, he's getting openings, but he's not killing Nana off of them. Yeah. Mostly because they're getting broken up. Jets, boys. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, you guys can do that. <laughs> The yeah, Jets oh. team kill on stream next. Yeah. Which means, um, Mitch beat Ferris. What's that? Mitch beat, uh, Ferris. Oh, be nice. Yeah, it's good. He's playing pretty well. Who? He probably should have beaten me. You oh, yeah. probably should have beaten me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we both kind of, like, flubbed up. He flubbed. Mitch came the closest, though, just in that he had you, like, he basically by the neck. neck. Yeah. He had you by the Two neck. Two times. Before his SD, oh, really? and then he had me off stage, like, uh, fire from the Yeah, he, he had you, or he had you in right off stage, yeah. and I was like, oh, And God. I went for the standard sets, like, I'm just gonna go as high as possible, and then drift back, and then go to the ledge. Yeah. And, like, he knows I'm gonna do that, and, uh, but he, yeah, I wish he would've called me out on really missed, yeah. 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 yeah, I definitely forgot to call you out on that. Like, yeah, that's, oh, that's, like, how I did it. That's 101. Yeah, I just, like, saw that the first time, or I saw it one time, and I was like, God. I would have liked a weak reverse it? back here from Fizzle. Oh, hey, nice. you. Is that yours? Yes, it is. Well, when you handed me my pizza, Thanks he asked me if this was mine, so I was like, this is what he said. Hey, Maggie. Hey, Maggie. Uh, we'll probably do that pretty soon. Yeah. This is semis, yeah? This is... Oh, winners. Sorry, this is, um... This is, uh, semis. Because Vinny beat Papa. Vinny beat Papa. Because Papa's going Samus and Luigi. What do I update? Oh, no. Oh, you got a control S. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> Danny, help! Danny, help! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I literally just hit control S. Literally just did control S. <laughs> I will assume responsibility for that. It was awesome. How the hell did that happen? Nope. We're professional. <laughs> Meanwhile, how the hell did that happen? I hit just control S. I, that's so weird. That's what Zed's told me too. They're just like, just hit control S. I'm like, okay. Well, control S on the. This oh, like when you're in the box. Yeah. yeah I that's mean, so I weird. I, just make sure you're not. Was in, I not in the box? Apparently, you're probably in this. I don't know what it does in this. I guess it enlarges Fizzle Boy. But apparently, it just enlarges text boxes to the largest possible setting. That seems okay. like it's okay. Can you update the score so that it says Vinsanity also has one game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Right. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I guess so. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna be. Is that why you bought your own? Yeah. <laughs> I got like 13th or something. Eggnog got upset and he beat me in losers. And he's like, he's good. I was like, oh man. So you could be like White Lightning and just like, just now show up. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's fine. That match was insane. He's so good. Doing, doing good. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's fine. I'll be considered. Ooh, ledge cancels. A big moonwalk back to the ledge. 
the supermarket punch. I know it isn't. Meh. Meh. I'll give it a meh. It's a little... It's deceptive. Maybe it's not sad Ooh. melee. It's not what? It's not sad melee, so it's always a good time. <laughs> Cincinnati uh, Falcon. It's pretty good. That's exciting. Yeah, he's I pretty like good. that bitch. Uh, and I'm this gonna... Dunks guy is pretty, pretty cool. He's pretty good, honestly. Yeah, pretty good? Mm -hmm. Is that why he travels? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he's pretty good, but he doesn't travel, so... <laughs> yeah, there's a... Yeah, um... Uh -huh. Oh my god, with the Jets. Does he have... He's a hard... He's just committed. He's super committed. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Nah, I'm just kidding. I love it. Jets Pizza is actually sick. Is it? I've never had it. It is, actually. It just kind of looks it's... gross. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it, like, gross good? No, it's not even gross. It's just good. It's it's, good? it's deep dish. Like, oh. You don't like deep dish? I'm from Chicago, and I, I don't know. like deep dish. Like, oh, okay. Well, then, all right, you don't count. You don't count. count. You don't count. No, no, no. regular female in the Spanish community <laughs> from Chicago doesn't like deep dish. I don't know how. All right, I'm gonna hop off of this because I can't because I want to eat and drink. That's fine. Um, I need a buddy. So yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Yeah. You should find me a buddy. Okay. And then you can eat your pizza. Hmm. Well, I mean, you can eat your pizza and find me a buddy. I guess that's true. Are they both playing with the Jets? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Oh, Go eat the pizza. Yeah. They are definitely not each other. That's not. Alright, hold on. I'll I can. Hold you. <laughs> there we go. And. Was your. Oh, I deleted it. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's okay. Oh, I thought I pushed a zero, but I guess I didn't. Ooh, goes for the... Oh, 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 what? Really? <laughs> Alright, well. Um, oh, no. Mitch sucks. Have I'm, a, have some pizza. I'm gonna go have some pizza. Um, That's fine. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what that, where that came from. I just felt tired all of a sudden. Alright. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm out of here.
I'll talk about it. Because if they really want to watch this for like, you know, to get something out of it, they're going to listen to the commentary They're going to turn the commentary anyway. off, yeah. So fuck them. <laughs> I was going to try to... I have uh, to turn... Like, yeah, I like listening to the like background commentary, like if I'm just watching the games, but like if it's my own shit, I'm trying to I, tur- I, I, turn the, I turn the volume off and I listen to music. I was going to try to make like a Spotify playlist of all the marching band songs we made. Oh, that would have been dope. Dude. But, but I couldn't The best part them. about this entire thing is how I just avoid all the things so far. Fuck okay. Falco. There's like four ones that would probably be like two here. Probably. Like Fer- Ferris would probably beat me. You're welcome. Um, I don't know who else. Other people. If I beat Zed, so I would have to play him. I think uh, maybe if I win my next match, I'd lose I don't really know where the bracket is. No, you two. If you win your next match, yeah, you would play Zets or Vinny and So yeah, Paige is pretty good, too. Really? If I get to play Vinny, I'm definitely going to play Vinny. Yeah, I feel like I see a lot of people play Vinny. What? I said I feel like I see a lot of people play Yeah, the best player in the world plays Peach. His name's Armada. He's a Swedish son of a bitch. No, dude, Vinny lost to Vinny. I'm just playing now. If I beat... If I beat the loser of the house or whatever... I play the winner of this, who can place the winner, or who plays that for all of us. Yeah, none of the uh, like, top four players main Fox, which is like, considered the best character in the game. Which is, I think it's pretty funny. Dude, honestly, Fox, they all play, Fox are like, like a mid-level but not there yet. character. No, true. Uh, like three of them, everybody knows how to play like, secondary. Because Fox is really well against Jigglypuff, so since the second best player in the world plays Jigglypuff, they all play Fox against him. Oh shit. Uh, or all, all of the car- all of the people that have any chance of winning against Hungrybox, like on a consistent basis, play Fox against them. Yeah, the second best player, is Puff Guy. He's a fuck boy. Yeah, he, he is a massive player. Let's go stab. Oh yeah, I just remember you. Who you? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they're always. 
I think I'm gonna fuck around. Shit, I'm gonna be 21 for this one. I think I'm gonna get fuck around, get really high, and watch the new season of Stranger Things all in one sitting. Like three days before Halloween. Yeah, it's doable. I thought no, I thought it comes out. No, they 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 made it. It's like October 27th now. Okay, yeah. So I guess I'll go out for Halloween. That sounds better. My brain just goes to just not watch them until. Oh, that was a stitch. That was yeah. Oh, so Peach pulls turnips, and you can yeah. pull, like, bombs and stuff out. And, but I there's... Mean, sorry. Do like, control that, or No, no, it's completely bomb. random. Oh, it's like a random chance. Like, a stitch is, like, one out of 256. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, so, yeah, the stitch face is, like, one of the strongest turnip. And it, like, fucks people up. Until you, Dude, even, the like, best is, the best is pulling bullshit with down beat against, like, casual friends. Yeah. It's basically, like, rest, but funny, because it's random. Yeah. It's like sling no skilled, technically to like get. Dude, the best the best part about like I've friend group, like you know like our friend group, like like, like all them, like they all know like competitive, like they don't play, but they yeah, all know. Yeah. I have another group of friends that like Cardi's also a part of. Like, Cardi's at that level where he's like he gets it. He's really good casually. Like he wouldn't like do well, like, but he fucks people up casually. He hits him with the die move, which is which is rest. Yeah. So hard. Yeah, he's he's still the die move. <laughs> now, the, the snap, I, I don't know if you were there. Yeah, you were when you were at Miami and you guys were doing the Ryan Wilton impersonations. I was dying. Don Kirk is one. <laughs> I wish, uh, I hope Matt had that saved because I don't remember opening it. I think it. he got saved, maybe. Somebody better have saved that because I, 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 I did not laugh that hard at something in a really long time. That shit was so funny. Oh, spot dive battles. I wouldn't know. I mean, we don't do that either. We do it, but then I have to do it down to it. See, if I do it with No, we, we do that, and then they just wait and grab me because I can't act out of the down to Whatever. Oh, you fucked her up. I didn't even see that. That was pretty rough. Like, you know, like, those things, so. I was not paying attention at all. It was like close, and then I kind of stopped paying attention, and then I slowly saw it. Whenever I'm at a Smash tournament, there's a mic in front of me. I just want to see the camera. <laughs> Dude, Mitch, you're a wild <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing it. You have my You haven't earned it yet. How do I earn it? Uh, being woke as fuck. I'll earn it by... If you go to Big House, I'll earn it at Big House. You don't decide when to earn it. No, I'm just telling you, like, I will win you over during that one. Doubt it. It's four, it's four if days you're with Detroit, me. That's it's four days, it's it's days with me comparatively to being with Matt. Oh, no, which yeah. is, as a result, I say, I means I look better. It's like the cheerleader effect, but like... For being woke. What were you saying? I was saying you should go. Yeah, I should go. I have to go. Fucking two for it. Can we wait for stream? Well, don't we want to do winner, 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 no justice for justice. Would that be winner's finals or something? Thank you, Bissell. Alright. Yeah, Millhouse, we're playing on stream after this. What? What? Because I play better in losers, I might win this one. That's like, get out of here. He was really bored. He, all his friends are in college now. So. Yeah. Oh, there's a oh, 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 uh, I'm, a, I'm about to start as a freshman, but um, I start at Northwestern, and they're on fucking Twitter, so I did September. Like I, I move in um, next Monday. I don't start classes until Monday after that. So like my first day of class. You're there for a week. You're only college ever that does quarters. Essentially, it's like that. If you don't want to play on stream, we can just not play on stream. I don't. I don't like they're not doing it. <laughs> Somebody record it with your phone! Here's your phone. Shoot it up behind me. They're not doing that. I'm, I'm sitting down and I'm talking. I'll yell from over here. It'll be even Watch me do cool things. Nigga, you have never done a cool thing in your life. Except for just exist, because you're a cool guy, don't care. You're so fucking cool, actually. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I'm yeah, I mean, like, I... What? Okay, it's totally up to you. Uh, I have five dollars. So... You know what I'm about to say? What? You said you know what I'm about to say? McDonald's? <laughs> That's where I was. The cheapest. That's where I was gonna go on my way home, anyways. So let's, go. let's just go. I gotta say bye to Duncan. So we just watch him play. We're gonna watch him play. And then we're gonna get Two. 
Someone just put the chair down like an idiot.
entertain the stream. No problem. because they're on a lot of tournaments to go to. This is pretty interesting. I don't think he even knew who he was going to pick, and I think he probably decided at the last minute, or knowing Fizzle, he's actually been thinking about it a shit ton for a really long time now. Who's he going to play? Thanks, Miss Maker Paints. He's in a weird fucking one again. Stream tech? Get fucked. <laughs> You meant something totally different. <laughs> hey man, I didn't do it. I just got you. And any second you can get edge guard and there could be a quick turnaround knowing Hanky, but since he means like he's prepared for the style of sheep that Fizzle's bringing to the table. Top eight. Two grab. Spacing him out. Oh no. He gives him a little too much respect. I think if he just waits there and be more patient, he can call out that air dodge. I think he has to bait it even. He could even just jump out and bait it. But, uh, this will set up to take the first game, but Hinky Pinky is a master at the punish game. 
one grab like this, and it could spell doom for our boy, but he flubs the edge guard slightly, but can Fizzle make it back on stage? The answer is no. So, you know, the first statement I said was right. Anki really is just the punish master. Gets him off stage with one turn throw and uh, ends up killing him. Now we'll see what Fizzle can do with his grab. Finds a back air, down tilt, jumps over the get up attack. Go to fair. Good coverage on that. And he's, he's off stage now, but the real question is, can he finish this stock? And now the question is, can he get back on stage? Because Hanky's reversed the positions of them. Well, they both are in center stage. Fizzle gets the grab. Up air. Will that kill in Dreamland? Not quite. Probably at 140, 150, maybe that'll kill. Gets another grab. Can he find the up smash? No. Looks for the fair. Gets a re grab. Good coverage on the options. Oh, just as I say that, <laughs> he does cover the rest of the options. Fair! Fizzle Boy takes game one, dude. Uh, not looking as dominant as normal. Yeah. So, I don't know what stage we're going, but Fizzle's thinking. The real question is which character is this? He chew. He chew. One can only hope, you know. Yeah. And we're seeing the puff, and we're seeing and Mountain. It's been a while, dude. I, don't think, I don't think Fizzle has played Puff in weeks. Why is Peggy's name John? Because he's Johnning about how bad he's playing. <laughs> Oh, that's a 59% combo on Puff. When does that happen? <laughs> Especially with a character that sort Peach. Well, that happens when you hold down a down smash. <laughs> yeah, that definitely helps. <laughs> what? Oh, we can if you Him off stage. Yeah. But backs up a little too much for my way. No, the situation gets quickly reversed. Millhouse just wants to get our set over with, so we're gonna play off stream. Alright, good luck. Thanks. Have fun. Just playing Sheik. Yeah. Well, he doesn't get caught by the turn up. I think he's controlling center stage really well right now. And that's like, I think the key to these kind of floating matchups is just controlling space really well and playing the long game. Because Fizzle's going to do something too crazy to get back the lead. And by something crazy, I mean he's going to have to find a good rest. And it, it's very unlikely that he does that to Hanky. It's unlikely that he even secures his edge guard, to be honest. Oh, man. Still alive. Barely hanging on. That'll kill, but he's 150%. He has quite the deficit here. Some wonder, should he have stayed cheap? Maybe. But I think he was going to try to like throw Hanky off by playing various characters. Oh, looks for that up tilt, but unable to find what he wants. Good shield on that. Oh no. He's caught by that down smash. Oh! Catches the roll, and that's exactly what it needed to get back into this game. <laughs> he needs to find another res. Oh, he's eating so much percent. Just constantly on the defensive. He really needs to get on the aggression, but he's just constantly being zoned out right now by Anki able to find any percent. Okay, there we go. It's a slight opening and just as uh, he gets spared again. Interesting air dodge, but not punished for it, I guess, so it doesn't really matter. I just changed stuff by turnups in the back air, that'll kill. That's hard. That's tough to see. You know, he's gonna have to go for another crazy rest here. Actually, I don't think he should. I guess, yeah, with only one stock and against Hanky's two stocks, he can't even really go for rest. It's not really a good option. 
He's keeping him off stage. Can he hold legs? That's all he has to do. All right, 33%. Not bad. Not the worst deficit against Peach Cena as they've been going to 100% each time. He just has to find a couple good openings or a good rest. And Mr. Saturn uh, being a little weird. <laughs> That's okay, though. Picks it up again and finds it. Sorry. Oh no. That'll be the stock. Sheik is a very fundamental character that I think benefits from practice with any character. And just having a strong understanding of the game. And that's a really good results with Sheik. And he's keeping percent even so far. Getting some trades, but any trade that he does will really favor Peach in the long run. We're seeing as she's a total tank. Good grab. Can he net any more off this punish? Just a little more. Gets him off stage. Oh. Stage again. Continuing the punish. And he finds the kill off that up tilt. Beautiful. Two, yeah, she's looking really good two, right now. Two, two. The patience is incredible. He gets forward throw. Him. Probably gonna go to ledge and find his way back on stage. He needs to find his way through these turnups and find his way out of this corner. Charging heels. Ah, not the best method. Okay, he rolls in, but still gets grabbed. And Angie's punish game is just too strong. Two, He's gonna cover all these options. Two, two. You know, he needs to be patient. He has a lead, he needs to build it. That's really what he needs to just be patient and go for chip damage, to be honest. Not really go for trades or push in too hard. Okay, has Hanky off stage again. He goes to ledge. Punish for that down smash and gets grabbed. Can he never kill off this? And he will. Thank you, Stadium. The up air kills will occur at a very low percent on this stage. Good needles. Oh, good, more good needles. Getting a decent amount of percent into the second stock of Hanky. That's what he needs. He needs to build percent. Hanky's punish game is terrifying. Knowing that any hit can spell doom for you. Oh, and he pulls a stitch and luckily throws it away. I'm not even sure he realized that was a stitch. Nair gets over that turn up, but I think he's ready for the next, uh, the very next situation. Okay, this with the percent lead. Gets a good Nair, knocks him off stage again. He has no jump. He only has Parasol, barely misses that up air. He needs to find something right now. And wow, Hanky, that was amazing. Barely spacing outside that Nair, but oh my god, and surviving that? Great DI from Hanky. Looks for the down smash build percent, looking for any way back into this game against Fizzle, and he gets caught by a fade back fair. Fizzle taking a large lead, but again, anything is possible with Hanky. One hit can literally spell Doom like this. Oh, Fizzle answering back with his own down smash, though. Goofy, floaty things. <laughs> Neil's the turn up. White humors. Corner, Hanky putting on the pressure. 
Fizzle really needs to find a way out of here without taking too much percent. Oh no, the jab get, or, sorry, the grab gets jabbed. And the down smash, and now Fizzle in behind for the first time in the set, and that charge down smash just might spell everything for him. Oh my god, he gets hit by the chair to find his way on stage, but another down smash. I don't know if there's any way he lives this. He has to make it back on stage somehow. Man, it just throws away an incredible lead. And that just shows you Yankee's punish game is just that strong. This will switch into red. Wow, great dash back to catch him with that grab. Gets him in the corner. Again, starting off the game incredibly well. With a decent percent lead. Oh no, it gets nared out of there. Great, great wiggle out by Hanky. Hanky's such an aggressive peach, controlling space so well. Controlling the corner incredibly.
figured out or rather that that's game one <laughs> shooting two lasers for the fans Ooh, just missed that down air that down air is crucial to get another Probably just the kill, honestly. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Whoa, that shine killed. Hmm. That down tilt was not safe, but it worked out for him. Alright, Fizzle's just messing around now. I like that rollback. Pressure. Back air. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. I don't think he wanted to do that. It's not over. It's best three out of five. <laughs> Hanky plays with himself off stream. Wait. <laughs> People are pointing at me, and I'm not sure why. It's probably because I'm not really saying too much. Um, to, oh, okay. I don't get the B part of this, but. Wow, it looks like we're going right back there. Um, Millhouse now putting on some, some music. All right, a good start from Millhouse. Oh, God. I don't even know if I want to commentate this. Millhouse went for some crazy... Or, a fizzle went for some crazy read and died for it. A shine, a shine. Firebird? Nah. DI was too good. Couldn't even get the fair to smack him back. Okay. Okay. Tech chasing. Oh, I guess I hit him with a down tilt or something. Oh, that fair could have been a kill. Yeah. Down air is very dangerous for Sheik to come down with. Uh, because if you if you catch them not ready for it, it's amazing and you can combo off to it. But if you're wrong, at best you'll trade with an up smash from or an up tilt from Falco or an up smash from Fox. Actually, sometimes up smash from Fox just straight out beats it, which is very infuriating to Dreffen. Um, but He's gonna. Every sheep does it for some reason. Okay. Back air. Yeah. Good edge guard. Good edge guard. Covered everything. Up air. That might. Oh no. Oh wow. I can't tell if that was a read or a reaction, but it covers it with a down air. That's insane. Okay. Ah, just overstepped his boundary. Just barely. Okay, we're going back to Yoshi's if I heard that correctly. These guys are insane. Edge guard from Millhouse. Covered ever. 
great option. Okay. Falco trying to get Sheik to come out and play. Sheik, not about it. She's a princess, but secretly. Spoiler alert. I don't like that full hop fair uh, Nair. I think uh, Mohawk is starting to get a little antsy. If he played a little bit more of a grounded game, he probably would, have, would be doing okay. I think he's trying to just avoid the lasers. Well, that would have done for him. God damn. Read him maybe twice and killed him for it. Very efficient. Uh, nice. Power shield crap. Jabs, a bunch of jabs. I don't know. Uh, that was probably supposed to be an up air. Okay. Air. Yep. Okay, let's see what no one else has got. Oh, wow, just calls out his movement there. And it's second place. Oh, oh. Jeez. He's scrapping a little bit. Nice! That was a minute. Wow. Sheik, though, and a very fast Sheik at that. Um, wow, that was an amazing tomahawk. Hmm, I think he read the roll in, but he was just a little late there. Let's look at some the corner, find some himself out. Great smack. Okay. Whoa, DBC! Yeah. Shield in a little small. Big pound. That could have been a rest, actually, but I don't, I don't know if it would have killed on Dreamland. It probably would have, though. Uh-oh. Crouch is under the grab. Yeah. Okay. Fizzle, patient. Ooh. She'll drop fair closing it out. so there's no punish for it. <laughs> Gotta know those percents. Uh, clear. Yep, that'll kill. Hmm. Yeah, 
got Fizzle really going in right now. Nice down smash to get it, to call out any, like, empty hops. Ooh. Fizzle looking for a jab reset there. Yep. Millhouse adapts really quickly there. He uh, saw that he was going to do an upside on shield and grab it before that, before Fizzle could get a second one. It was really, really good. Those kind of interactions where people are adapting, like, the first time, the first time after that interaction happens, or the second time, that's really hard to do. Whoa! Uh, that's probably it. Yep. Stuff to Fizz. Alright, I'm gonna peace out. Um, I gotta go home, it's late, I can do homework. And whatnot. Peace. Fizzle?